Hi everybody, I'm just out collecting some candies with my new skull candy collector for Halloween. <laughs> but I have a secret trick. It's a secret door here that I can pull and make all the candies inside. I got lots of them here. I can make them disappear. You want to see? Okay. Oh, they disappeared down there into the secret room. And then I close the door. Now it's nothing and I can go to the next house and get more candy and nobody knows. Hey, come with me. Let's see what happens when we go to the next house. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Please, please, I, I have no candy. Look, it's empty. I got nothing. <laughs> I fooled them all. Hey, would you like to make one of these? This is what you need. A box. Haha, <laughs> imagine that. Then you will need some extra bits of cardboard, a little bit of glue, some brushes, paints, red, white, and black, ruler, marker, pencil, and something to cut with. I think that should be all. You are ready for your candy collector skull frightening thingy. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh. yes. First thing you do is to close up the flap, so you close them like this, and then you glue it. You glue here, you glue here, glue on all the sides, in fact, so that you end up with a sealed box like this one. So we will start with shaping the box according to the skull. We need to kind of make a slimmer lower part where the mouth is. So we need to first measure to find the um, middle of the box, which is about uh, here. No, it's actually here. Here's the middle of the box. And uh, uh, here's the middle of the box. Then I draw a line here. So that's the middle of the box. Then we have to take it in on this side. So I'm going to measure so I get this um, correctly. 2.2 cm in here and 2.2 cm uh, here. Of course, you need to check the size of your box and not use my measurements, but the measurements that fits your box, because I don't know how big your box is. Then I measure seven and a half cm up this way and seven and a half cm up this way. And then I draw a curved line, which goes from here inwards. This is important. It's got to go in first and then around and up to this point. So the shape is like this, coming down this way and out this way. Then you get that proper sort of skull shape with the mouth and the teeth down here. So again, going in from this point and then out right. Okay, so here's the nose. It's roughly about here. That's just a little triangle like this. Then the eyes. Eyes are going to be quite big and kind of scary. So they're shaped like that, like evil cat eyes sort of thing. And make sure that they go in the middle. I was a bit sloppy here. Sorry, it's a bit hard for me to draw whilst the box is facing camera. You see? Inside the eyes, because eyes are going to be black, but inside the eyes will be the pupil about this big with a point in the middle like this. Okay, do they look evil enough now? Let me see. Oh yeah, that's pretty evil. It's a bit messy, I'm sorry, but uh, that's what happens when I draw upside down like this. Now, down here, we put in the teeth. So we start with, sort of, oh yes, yeah, one big tooth there, another one, another one, and there we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six teeth. That's roughly what you can fit into this space. Does it start to look a bit scary now, I hope? Now, so the face is finished. We now have to do this on the other side too. So we do the same thing. We measure 7.5 cm here, 7.5 cm there, 2.2 here, 2.2 here. And then we do the same thing. Remember, goes in a bit first and up to this point just like we did on this side, so that it's matching. Then this point 
and that point you gotta draw a line so that we can make a straight cut so straight across here and then also down here so you have this point same with this one so then you have two lines and you draw a line here too See now we have done and made a shape so it's around there coming down here and across here so we can cut this whole part away so we have to do that on both sides okay look at this now so you have the face here you have the middle here you have the part we're going to cut here around here same on this side basically same on both sides okay now we are ready to cut so start by cutting carefully along the lines never rush yourself when you are cutting just make sure you're cutting well okay so that's one thing loose there let's do the other one too then i turn it over i cut straight down and Continue, same on the other side. Okay, turn it over again, cutting straight across, like this, underneath, straight across. Okay, great. See this shape here? That's what you need to do. Cutting away this shape so that you get a, a, a nice inward shape here uh, on the skull. So let me finish the other, the other half. Hey, beautiful. So, these shapes are gone. Look at the skull now. Looks much more skull-like, doesn't it? Yeah, the shape is much nicer with a sort of a big forehead, big evil eyes, and a bit smaller sort of uh, evil grin with teeth down here. Now, we are ready to open up the top because this is where the candy goes inside. So we need to open up these flaps. We continue the line from the middle so that we get the middle on top of the head as well. So let me just measure here so we get it accurately. Yeah, there, do a line here. Okay, so it's middle all the way. So I start with now opening up the head. <laughs> and then we cut across here and here so we can open up the flaps. So we're cutting down here, there, and on the other side. So now we can open up the head. Whoa, yeah, look inside the head there. Do you see the brain? No, of course there is no brain in here. Because it's a skull, they don't have brains, they're just evil. Okay, so we open this up here, and uh, now we are ready to glue on the sides to cover up these large holes. Because you don't want your candy to fall out here when you're running for your life. For that, you will need an extra bit of cardboard. Make sure it's the same width as uh, the side that you're trying to cover. So I have cut this piece now to be the same uh, width. Uh, then we cut the piece about this long. That means that it's slightly longer than, than this piece so that we can fit it down into it. Let me just show you in a second. So we uh, cut this piece. Uh, if you look at this now, uh, when, we, when we bend it or we sort of fold it like this according to these uh, stripes in the cardboard. It's good that you, uh, you know, do it with the stripes this way uh, and not this way. Because uh, if you do it this way, it's hard to fit the cardboard into the shape. But if you do it this side, uh, the stripes will help you to shape it into the shape that you need to cover. So, uh, we are going to use a ruler to help us to do this right. So, we go like this. You push and you pull out. Uh, push and pull out so that you get many of these um, stripes along your piece of cardboard. That should do the trick. Look at the cardboard now. See how easy it now is to shape it to this curve. Look at how nicely it fits within the shape. Can you see that? Nice. Just perfect. So we um, take some glue. I have glue in here, by the way. This is not paint, this is glue. I take a brush and I apply the glue quite generously along the edge here. 
You see, the cardboard, the corrugated cardboard, will soak up quite a bit of the glue. That's why I'm applying the glue in quite large amounts so that it's plenty left after it has been soaked up. Okay, and then stick your cover on and that's when we need some tape. We're gonna need tape to tape it down, push down and then pull the tape so that you tighten it up so that it bonds really well here uh, along the edge. Nice. So this tape will help to keep this in position while it dries. So we're gonna do that now pretty much everywhere to make sure that uh, it sticks really well to the side here. I also like to put some tape on here to make sure that this gap is really uh, tight and closed like that and on this side. Okay, now we have come this far. It's time to do the same thing on the other side with the other piece of cardboard. Now I'm lucky enough to have one that is already put on and uh, dry. Uh, let me show it to you now. Well, hey, it looks like this. So I'm gonna chuck this out now. Yeah. Uh, so here it is. Both sides are glued and dry. Now I can take the bits of tape off and trim the edges. Because as you can see, as you can see here, there's a bit of cardboard sticking out. That's what happens when you um, glue it on. You know, you don't sort of fit it right away. You just uh, glue it and then you fit it later. So we're gonna do that in a second once the tape is off. Okay, there we go. Now we trim it. So I just put my knife here along the edge and just carefully cut along the edge. Good one. And then this side. And then you have to sort of fine trim the edges a bit. And go like this. So make sure that the edges are nice and neat looking. Same underneath. And if there's something sticking out on the side, just uh, cut that away as well, like this. And then we have to shape these flaps. So we put them down like this so that we can cut against the table. Let me just draw the shape for you. But first we gotta find the middle actually. See here is the middle. Here's the middle, I can follow the box like this. So here's the middle. And then we draw a line from here curving nice curve and out about this big same thing on the other side a nice curve so that the the handle is just this wide okay so now uh, different ways of cutting if i have drawn it on the inside which i could then uh, it would be actually easier to cut shall i do that you see now i, I wanted to show you this but actually it would be easier more practical to do it on uh, this side so give me a second that's the middle. So the curve goes like this. Same thing on this side. So now you can see it from this side and this side. Okay, so now let's cut. It's easier to cut against the table, you see. Okay, this one away. And this one away. Beautiful. Now we uh, do it on the other side too. Oh, gorgeous. See, now we have half uh, the handle that we need to hold our uh, candy collector. So uh, the rest of the half we are going to make from a bit of cardboard. <laughs> Surprise. Now we need to measure the width of the handle. They are about 2.3 centimeter wide. So I'm going to now make a strip that is the same width. So 2.3. 2.3 like this and like that okay so let's see how this fits okay i gotta curve it first nice look at this so if i glue that to the sides of the flaps here you have a nice handle so yeah let's do that right away i put some glue on the inside of these handles and then stick this other handle onto it Make sure it's equal. And to hold it in place, I use some tape. And now, this needs to dry. Next, we need to cut a stripe uh, to strengthen the handle. So I make the same width here. 
cutting this uh, stripe of cardboard. And then let's see how we can, we gotta first remove the tapes. They have done their duty, so get them off. Now we need to strengthen this bit so that the handle is stronger for all your Halloween goodies. So we take this strip and fold it, fold it so that it's the uh, same shape like that. And then let's see, so we make a mark. We put it against where this one ended. So we put it here, over here, down here, and then make a mark because we are gonna cut it right there. So we cut it there. Now it should fit perfectly. I'm going to put glue all over the top of the handle and a bit extra down here by the joint. Okay, so we fit it on. We're gonna use a bit of tape to hold it in place. Bit on the middle here as well. Beautiful. And while this is uh, drying, we're gonna cut the hole for the secret door. If you look at the inside of the box, you sometimes get these little, call them shelves, uh, on top of a strip of cardboard. So those are perfect to glide your secret door uh, back and forth. So here we have one on this side and one on that side. So now I'm gonna push a punch, a little hole, through the cardboard right above the cardboard shelf there. So if you look at this, right below here is where the cardboard shelf is. So now I can cut my uh, slot uh, across here. So let me make a mark for the other one as well. There, between these two holes now, that's where the slot is going to be for the secret door. So I'm making a mark right across here. That's the mark for the slot. And below here and here, that's where the shelf is that the door will glide on top of. Let's uh, open this up now. Then we need to make a parallel cut the size of the width of the cardboard. So very, very slim parallel cut so that we can slide in the cardboard. Let's try. That's perfect. Now I need to make these shelves in here a little bit thicker so that the door that goes in have something solid to uh, stand on. So I'm gonna cut these tiny little strips of cardboard, just about one cm wide only. That's all I need, one cm wide. Right, so I'm gonna glue them to make this shelf thicker. So I'm just gonna take measure the width of the box there. I make a cut here. I put glue of this, this extra strip and then I glue it on right onto this shelf here to make it twice as thick. Ah! Hey, I told you not to do that. How many times do I have to say it? I'm doing a piece of work here. Somebody's watching, okay? So stop ruining the shoe. Okay, so perfect. Uh, then I do that on both sides. Uh, and here I have a uh, basket that is dry. I have removed the tape and um, glued on both sides in here so that I don't need this one anymore. Uh, now, if we pay attention to this one, I'm gonna show you how to make the secret door that slots in here. For that, you need a piece of cardboard and you need to trim it until it's exactly the width of the opening of this uh, slot here, you see? So if you check this piece of cardboard, it's exactly the, the same width as this, but when I push it in, it is a little bit longer. So now it's all the way in, but it's a bit longer so we can make a little handle to pull in and out. But check the, how it works, huh? So it works like this, out, in, and it glides along the edge here and here. I have even put on a little extra edge or shelf on that side as well. So there's a shelf now on three sides to hold the weight of the candy up. So all the way around here. So when I push it in, oh, beautiful. And all the candy rests on this secret door here. So now let me show you how to make the handle. So it's pushed all the way in. Now we need to fold. So we start folding. Let's roll it all the way up. It needs to be a handle that is good to grip. So 
that's a nice handle now so let's glue it down as it is uh, there alongside inside here and then we need to tape it to hold it down like this now while this dries we can start painting yay and we are going to start with the white oh really full okay i'm gonna wipe ah yeah what am i doing here oh well, yeah getting tired so it's a white skull obviously and we are painting the whole thing so uh, this is really easy job but of course it's going to take a little time if you want to do it properly what i always do i give it one coat of paint and i dry it then I paint it again so that the color becomes solid and cover really well. So uh, let me show you how to do it. When you get to the um, eyes and the face and stuff, go a little bit around so that you can see the pencil lines. By the way, the eyeball is going to be white, so make sure you get a little bit of white inside there. The teeth go a bit like this and then otherwise around the shapes so that you can see where you drew the line for the teeth roughly 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 like this you don't have to uh, be so incredibly neat when you paint because after all this is going to be a very scary skull and those skulls are usually a bit rough and tough there nice and rough but beautifully painted next color is black we need that contrast that bad scary contrast and i start with filling in the dark eyes so dark scary eyebrows maybe first and then filling in that cavity you know that scary cavity in the skull's eyes and the other one then switching to a smaller brush and continuing with the nose and around the teeth there anything else we need to make this look scary maybe a scar or something yeah okay Put in the scar. Oh, looking bad. Maybe some scars around on the other parts of the skull as well. Oh, and I think I want to add some yellow to the eyes to make them shine a bit and, you know, as if they're glowing. Okay, so a bit of yellow. This eye, that eye, can maybe do a bit like this to make them shine a bit extra, like that. And then I can add a, a little a black point in the middle, so, yeah. Now, what do you think? Does it look evil? Oh, <laughs> and we're going to make it even more evil by adding blood. Of course, not real blood, but we're talking red paint, so got my red paint here so i mix a little bit of water with the paint so that we can get this sort of water colory sort of red when we add that around the eyes that's gonna have a really special effect so a bit sort of just around the eyes like as if you know the skull is kind of bleeding a bit from the eyes oh yeah 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 that's just the ticket then i take more red and i add blood on the teeth you know as if he's been eating flesh or something <laughs> that's really evil man <laughs> yeah and now is the time to put in the secret door and i have also added a little bit of white on the handle here so that uh, it matches the skull so we slot it in here from the back oh perfect see now it's nice and tight and it covers the whole room uh, inside there and now we are ready for the candy i happen to have some halloween candy right here oh look at all this oh goodies so let's say you're out there collecting candy you have just been knocking on the door and they uh, uh they pour a bit of candy in your um candy collector skull oh lots of nice candies then you say uh, thank you very much and then you walk off but then as you turn the corner you go like this you pull out the secret door all the candy goes into the secret room below 
you close the door again and it's empty and you can go to the next house and say oh, I have no candy look it's all empty can you give me more can you give me a lot extra much and then they say oh sorry look you don't have anything we're gonna give you extra extra much they take their candy out and they go yeah you're gonna get everything all of it <laughs> and then you go kitchen close the door again and you go to the next house isn't that great <laughs> hey you want some candy i got one right here open up open up yeah Ouch. that's a bad meat eating artist eating plant bad artist eating one okay i'm off to collect some candy <laughs> Ha 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 ha!